we could confirm some things like he had uh, brown eyes, but we found out that the skin color is much darker than we thought. He's had a very dark skin color, even darker than today South Europeans like people from Andalusia or uh, Sicily, Sardinia, um, but not as dark as uh, people from Sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, on the other hand, we found out that he was most likely bald. So he um, had the genetic predisposition to lose his hair. Um, also, we cannot tell to what extent this was already developed. So maybe he still had some hair left, but for sure he didn't have this full hair as is now shown today in the reconstructions. This is a normal progress in science. You get new results, new information, then you adapt the reconstruction, but this can be done also in a new reconstruction that maybe will be done in a few years. Uh, if it's done, for sure, this should be considered, that it should be darker and maybe with less hair as it's now. This new sequencing technologies or the advancement of these technologies allows us also to look much more into detail, for example, in things like his the composition of his microbiome. So we have been already studying some um, bacteria in his intestines, but we want to get the full picture because we know today from modern studies, this uh, the microbiome is very important for our health, for allergies, uh, for our diet. And we want to explore whether there are maybe differences between him and our modern population. And I think these technologies can help to also dig into this much deeper.